and welcome to my learning block. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, hey, again, welcome and thank you for joining me on my learning block. Today we will learn how to subtract or how to teach subtracting multi-digit numbers without borrowing. Think about that for a second. Yes, I'm sorry. Mind is completely gone. All right, so yes, we're going to subtract. But today, instead of using the concepts or using the manipulatives, we're gonna work on the procedure because your child is already at a point in which they understand the concept of subtraction. So we're going to work on the procedure, the algorithms, how to put this thing together, the set of rules. So thank you, and I hope you learn something, pick something up, should be fun. All right, now, again, because we are at this process, we've already gone over the whole idea of the concept. Your child is ready. They understand the concept of subtraction. They understand that they have 465 and they're going to take away 244. That's like saying I'm going to take away two flats. Along with that, I'm going to take away four um, rows or rods. And I am then going to take away four units, two, three, four, and they would come out with two hundredths, two rods, and one unit. They understand that concept. They understand that, okay, I'm, I have something large and I'm taking parts away to get an answer, all right? They understand that, but now let's work on the steps, the step by step process using the algorithm. So we're gonna take the same, or a different pro problem, 257 and we're gonna subtract 152. Now, I know you've been working with the addition as well as the subtraction algorithm at the same time. And again, make sure your child understands that concept of working from right to left rather than from left to right, which is the general way that they have learned to read. Um, and the way you do that is just basically tell them that math is the opposite of ELA. It may not be true. If you want to argue with me, fine. Just leave me a message. But math is the opposite of ELA, and we're going to work from right to left in math, at least in this process. And it really helps with regards to multiplication in a certain way. But so we're going to work from right to left. So go ahead and teach your child to start over there in the ones place and then they'll go to the tens place and then the hundreds place and the way we do this is we are going to simply subtract seven minus two we're going to take that number and the answer will be seven minus two i'll say oh what is seven minus two i can't remember um seven six however your child does it allow them to work through it and they will get five sooner or later okay and then we'll just slide over to the tens place and then we'll have five minus five and allow them to work through that as well the answer equals zero and then lastly they will go to the hundreds place and they will see two minus one but really it's two hundred minus one hundred and we've already accounted for the tens in the ones place and I should have said this for the for the tens as well because the tens there I'll go back and the tens it's really not five minus five it's fifty minus fifty but we have already accounted for that ones place so that's how we get zero right See, it really be zero zero but that's how we get that so back to our hundreds place the 200 minus 100 is 100. And again, we've counted for the tens in the ones place with the zero and the five, and it's simply 105. All right, now, while you're using this, again, make sure you are teaching this concept simultaneously with the addition algorithm without regrouping. Um, and what you'll do is really let your child start to understand the correlation between addition and subtraction. They'll say, hey, wait a second, it works hand in hand, it's inverse. And yes, it is, it's great. So allow your child to then check their work. And the way they do that is they take 105, whatever the answer is, and they take one of these numbers. Right now I'm gonna use 152. 
and I see I have the addition symbol here that shouldn't be the addition symbol that should be subtraction sorry and they're gonna add 105 plus 152 and the answer should be 257 so let's find out 5 plus 2 equals 7 hey 5 plus 0 equals 5 and 1 plus 1 equals 2 257 152 and 105 it's a perfect match now if your child is at a point where it, it doesn't match then they know that something's wrong and they can kind of self-check and they can go back and work through their strategies thank you again for joining me on my learning block please don't forget to go ahead and check out some of the resources and at the same time make sure you are using this simultaneously with the addition without regrouping uh, video and so your child is really understanding those concepts all together it will really help them out thank you again for joining me i look forward to seeing you next time and keep learning with me